السلام علیکم تو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ریکارڈ اے ویڈیو وچ از گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین ہاؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اپلوڈ اور مارکس فار دا اسائنمنٹ وچ آر چیکڈ آن پیپر بٹ وی وی وانٹ ٹو شو دیم ٹو انڈیویجول اسٹوڈنٹس آن ایس یو ایل ایم ایس سو وین یو لاگ ان ٹو یور سافٹ ویئر موڈل وچ از ایس یو ایل ایم ایس آن سوہار یونیورسٹی یو جسٹ نیڈ ٹو لاگ ان and first go to the course which you are teaching in that semester in the semester you will go and you will be able to see that uh, all the students are registered this is very important and once all the students are registered with you you just need to go to a, the grade book so in the grade book there is an option and you can check and make uh, all the grading items which are available for the students uh we in my case for example i'm having uh one quiz one assignment one midterm and all the weights are given here a project for 20 percent and then a final term so it can depend and it can be different for uh everyone so you can make changes here you can disable them like i have disabled this formative quiz here so you can add items here and give the weights to it then the maximum grade in each individual assignment can also be uploaded here uh, edited here so once you have done this uh, remember that these these should be assignments okay so i will let you know how to create one so imagine that we have this uh, this list so let's go to export so once you have all all of this set up and then all the students are all already registered then the next task would be to export this list to an excel file so uh, we can export it to different uh, different formats you can uh, export it to libreoffice simple text file or excel spreadsheet in my case because i'm going to just give you an idea about how to do this so i will just export all of it once you have this file you will see that all the students are enlisted and all their assignments are all already uh, included here so let me just give you an idea so this is my assignment 1 this is my uh, midterm this is my uh, project this is my final term and so on right so you can do similar uh, thing here as well anyway so let uh, assume that we we have everything here ready the next thing would be that you check your papers uh, the exam papers on paper which you have take in the classrooms or exam room and then you put marks for each of these students one by one so for example if i want to increase uh, add marks for this student jasim and many others so for example for assignment 1 i will enter everyone some random numbers like 6 let me add a random number here so imagine that this is the number right so i will give everyone these numbers these are just randomly generated numbers and let me make a copy of it so i'm going to just give everyone some marks okay so these are some numbers which we have for everyone so let's assume these are my students and i checked the paper and i have added the, these marks right so these marks are uh, already in the system and then we are going to save this file this file and next because we are going to upload grades so first let's assume that i'm going to upload these everything in the assignment 1 right so i will go to import paste from spreadsheet and you have to paste these marks here so let's so imagine that these are the marks which i need okay so i need only the id this column and the column which i already added so let's assume that these are two columns okay so i will make a copy ids and their grades let's assume these are the grades okay so now i have two columns one is one is the assignment marks which are the random marks i gave and these are the ids so i will just copy everything which i need to put there copy 
and come back to the paste from spreadsheet. So when you do this, just verify that all the marks are here just randomly. OK, next we will say upload marks. So here the system, the SULMS will identify that I have one column ID number, one column assignment. Then it will ask that how do you want to identify the user? So in my case, I want to identify this column ID number and map it to the ID number column, which is in SULMS. So if, if you see in my gradebook, in my gradebook, I have this column ID number. So I want to map my Excel file to this column. OK. So I will do this one. Second, it says that which item do you want to be graded? So in this case, we are going to grade this column, right? So I'll select this column. And say that this column is going to be graded for let's assume for midterm. OK, I will delete these marks, but anyway, let's assume. Or let's say we want to give it to. Randomly, OK, so once you hit this button, all the marks will be uploaded and I will just show you that. If you see all the midterm is blank, just let me refresh it and you will see the marks. They appear here, so every student can go and see their marks like this. This is how they will see it. This is how the student will see it that he has five grade in week five quiz and five in midterm. This is the dummy the data which I entered and also it has been like it. It also gives the student an an idea about overall grades in the system. So if you have any questions, you can hit me with an email and I will be happy to help you. My details, if you want to have my details, they are. I think here. So just send me an email. I will be happy to help.